Hey friends, I have officially moved in and have new shelves to show off, so we are going to do a bookshelf tour today. Hope you enjoy! Alright guys, we're going to look at four shelves today. Here's three of them that are together in kind of the center of my library. I'm going to go through each shelf so you can see each one a little bit closer and just point out some of my favorites or standouts on those shelves. As you can see, the middle is supposed to be my rainbow shelf and the outside ones hold series. Okay, so let's start with shelf number one. I didn't put my series in any order, actually, just kind of how they fit. Um, on this one, I have Crooked Kingdom displayed. I have a little candle. My favorite series on this is gonna be Over on the Side by Kenneth Opal. I really loved Airborne, Star Climber, and Skybreaker when I was younger. Shelf number two is my Wheel of Time shelf. I don't have all of them yet, but we're getting there. You can also see my Lord of the Rings box set over there. And I have a little owl just chilling. Moving down, I have some of my more YA series here. You can see the Graceling Trilogy, Patrick Ness. The ones that are on their side, I don't have all of those books yet. I think there's supposed to be seven. So I put them on their side, that way when I get the rest of them, you know, I can have space for them. Down to more YA. These are some of those classic YAs. You have Maze Runner. I don't actually have the third one because I didn't like it, so, you know, there's that. Um, Divergent, the Selection series, the Lunar Chronicles, so just some classic YA on this shelf. And then we have the very bottom two, so these are a little funky, but I have The Little House on the Prairie. Then over on the other side I have some of those starters that I don't have the next book to, so they're just kind of standing there on their own at the moment. And then I have my kids book on the bottom shelf. They're not series, but they needed a home. So here they are. All right, let's look at these rainbow shelves. We have white to pink and a little bit of red. Crescent City is on display. I also have Neil Gaiman up there, which I'm excited to read. I have Prince and the Dressmaker which is a really good graphic novel if you need one. Dune is on display on my red-orange shelf. It was really hard to choose for this shelf because I really like the cover of Fountains of Silence and Priory of the Orange Tree, but this shelf has a lot of good ones. You can see the blade itself um, and World War Z, some of my favorites. All right, yellow, gold, and green. I didn't put any on display on the shelf because I didn't want that to get like too overdone. I really like some of the gold books that I have and that bright green section with like A Song Glow Water, Land of Plenty, and The Three Body Problem. Okay, so again, None displayed on this next shelf, but I did turn some to the side just to switch it up a bit. I have some well-read, well-worn books on this. Hatchet, the Thief Lord you can see, has been well-loved. Um, even Firebringer and Matilda, just some, some good ones. How's Moving Castle, you know? Okay, and this shelf has my purples. I really need more purple books. My cat in shining armor has a place down here. I don't know if you've read Rook, but I loved Rook. I need to reread it because I remember loving it, but I haven't read it in so long. And the bottom shelf is our black, silver, white. And how could you not put Norse mythology on display. I have a lot of heavy hitters on this side. Children of Time, Children of Blood and Bone, Battle Royale. So a lot of these I still need to read. They're just so big. In this section, start with my new Discworld collection. I'm going to 
gonna zoom in on the four I have out. These are my four favorites. I just, I really love them. Definitely worth the investment. So yeah, Discworld up there. Again, just back to random series. Not even like anything specific. You have Elementary with Artemis Fowl, YA with like Legend and Prodigy, though so just kind of all over the place. This next shelf is going to be my Cosmere shelf. Right now it's part Cosmere, part TBR shelf. So those are the books I read last month waiting to be wrapped up. Um, and I have my TBR cards for this month up there. So eventually Cosmere. Back to series. We have Sarah J. Mass. So yeah. I really love the Bartimaeus trilogy if you haven't read that. I need to get like better copies of those books. One of them has food stains and you can see the cut on the spine of that other one. Sabriel is here. Again, how can you not display this beautiful Name of the Wind edition? It has red edges, which I love. Um, and then some other ones where I have the first book, but I haven't gotten much further than that. So the last shelf, we have just some standalones that didn't really fit anywhere else. <laughs> Those poor bottom shelves. Here is my last bookshelf that we're going to look at. This one is more by genre than series. These are basically anything but fantasy. Top shelf is my classics. Put the kids classics up in this stack here because love like all of these. Phantom Tollbooth, James and Mary and Peach, Bridge to Terabithia, Vanicula. So it's my classics shelf. Down to this shelf uh, which you start with like graphic novels then move into short novella series, manga, um, poetry. So basically anything short. <laughs> that really isn't a genre but yeah they're all here so saga's up there um the adventure zone murder bots wayward children series and of course shell silverstein one of my favorite poets i also have some knickknacks one of my friends 3d printed a bunch of cool pokemon so i'll make sure to zoom in on those guys as we go through the shelves. Over here we have a little lighthouse that's supposed to light up. We gotta find a way to plug it in. And this beauty. Okay. Down on the next shelf we have romance and historical fiction. The only reason those two are on the same shelf is because they took up just the right amount of space. So historical fiction the Book Thief, obviously one of my all-time favorites. Troy is down there. Child 44. There's some nice candles and a shell that I got on my cruise. And then some of my romances. I haven't updated my romance collection in quite a while. So most of these are ones that I read in high school. Um, very like YA romance-y. The Night Circus is definitely the latest addition to this shelf. And we have some more little pokies. Okay, this bottom shelf is my least favorite shelf of all because it's just kind of a mess. Um, we start with all the kids' books I have that were just too tall to put anywhere else. And then on this side, we have like non fiction slash craft slash journal slash psychology books but yeah it's just kind of there at the moment but I feel like that's just how it's gonna go always gonna have some shelves that are just kind of put together but yeah
Let me know what you think of my bookshelves. I'm pretty happy with them. I think we're gonna get some lights to put on them and I'd like to get another bookshelf soon. Honestly, this is like my dream library at the moment. If you have a bookshelf tour, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I love watching them and getting inspirations. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.